Committee. I am pleased to present to you at this time Lauren H. Morgan. Lauren, would you please come forward? Lauren Morgan is graduating today with a double concentration in English and government. She has served as chair of the undergraduate council of the student government, as well as a class officer for each of the past four years. She is one of the college's most energetic and enthusiastic students. And Lauren, in the words of one of your friends, you are the queen of the tribe pride. <laughs> she has chaired family weekend and the homecoming committee, given countless tours for the Office of Admissions, and devoted a great deal of time to community service. And she has also served this year as a president's aide. I'm pleased to present to you Lauren Morgan, student speaker for the class of 2001. Yeah. Four years ago, we arrived in Williamsburg on the most humid day in August, energetic but excited to begin our adventure of independence. We smiled as our loved ones bestowed upon us hugs and kisses and so much of their love. Watching empty minivans, cars, and U-Hauls leave the college roadway, we were struck by a new apprehension. Could these cinder block walls become our new homes? On opening convocation, our fears subsided as we walked through the hallowed arches of the rent building into the open and loving arms of our new family. Each welcoming smile and look of affirmation gave us a renewed sense of comfort and belonging. Becoming a member of the William & Mary family at first seemed so effortless. Each time we stumbled, our college lifted us up again by the patient arms of our upperclassmen and faculty. We found solace in the sunken gardens, in late night conversations with new friends, in house dressing, bloated cheese fries, and long walks in Colonial Williamsburg. But we also always found strength and solace within ourselves. When we felt discouraged, the stately trees, soft grass, and warm sun healed our broken spirits. The College of William & Mary has gently nurtured her children, wholly educating us in mind, in body, and in spirit. We have grown and matured, having been taught some of the most knowledgeable men and women of the 21st century. In earning a degree from America's first university, we receive not simply recognition of our academic prowess, but we receive a blessing, and most importantly, a gift. Our, love, our loving college has equipped us for service, teaching us to be men and women of integrity, wisdom, and skill. Our own families are exceedingly proud of what we have accomplished, but so too is our William & Mary family, and rightfully so, for in the last four years, we have become more than mere students. We have 88 undergraduates who have received the highest academic of honor into Phi Beta Kappa. 167 graduating law students will go on to become some of the finest legal minds in the United States. This afternoon, 185 scholars will receive a master's degree and 38 will receive a doctorate from one of the finest universities in America. 75% of the William Mary family commits itself to service outside of our red walls through the Allen Bucks Memorial Bone Marrow Drive, but we have also evidence that we will help our own through the student-led living wage campaign. In the last 300 years, our college has watched some incredible things. Three United States presidents, three Supreme Court justices, four signers of the Declaration of Independence, 16 members of the Continental Congress have graduated from a William and Mary with a degree. It is no wonder that the College of William and Mary has been named the alma mater of the nation. Today, we go forth to join them in leading our great nation. Our college is proud of what we have achieved, but most importantly, our college is proud in who we have become. Today, May 13th, 2001, is the College of William & Mary's most glorious moment. Just as the College of William & Mary, like a proud parent, had boasted of our achievements for the last 300 years, so too will she boast of ours. 
where the Mary takes pride in each man and woman who graduates today with honors. She remembers the blessing of last fall's hurricane and of last year's most wonderful and joyful blizzard. She delights in our new bookstore. She's excited about the daily grind, the completed construction of Swim Library, and the $95,000 for the senior class raised this year. Our college is most excited that our loved ones could join us today and so proud to have such prestigious commencement speakers joining us in celebration. I wonder as we walked through the Wren Building this morning and took our seats here on William and Mary Hall floor, did our college, our friends, and our home shed tears of sorrow and regret for our departure just as our families did on that most humid day in August four years ago? For most of us, today marks the end of our formal William and Mary education. My hope and my prayer for each graduate is that he or she will know the satisfaction of a job well done and the peace of a completed journey. As a child, many of my days ended with the classic children's tale, Good Night Moon. Margaret Wise Brown shares in Good Night Moon that in each ending, there is joy, there is peace, and always a hope for a new beginning. As we leave the College of Women Mary, our alma mater, may we be proud of what we have accomplished. May we be confident that we have fulfilled and surpassed the legacy of greatness that preceded us. If Margaret Brown had attended the college, then perhaps she would have written the following, reminding us that as this adventure ends in Williamsburg, we too will feel great joy and peace, and our alma mater will think of us and always be proud. So in these slightly paraphrased words of Good Night Moon, Good Night Dorm Room, Good Night Moon, Good night, beloved college glowing in the moon. Good night, Sir Christopher Wren. Good night, students of business, education, and chem. Good night, green and gold balloons, and a picture of our college glowing in the moon. Good night, loved ones. Good night, treasured fun time. Good night, residence life. Good night, schoolwork strife. Good night, social outing. Good night, final exam rush. Good night, everybody. Good night, beloved Professor Whispering Hush. Good night, Barksdale stars. Good night, human air. Good night, sorrow. And may we share the love of our William and Mary family everywhere. Thank you.
Thank you.